Daddy. Daddy. Ouch. What is it, Mum? Um, 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 nothing. Why didn't you turn on the light? Um, yes, they... Carry on watching to see how you can make this desk lamp yourself and to prevent future accidents like the one you just saw. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! So first things first, I have chosen my pieces. It's going to be made from reclaimed wood and some of it, as you can see, is pallet wood. I'm very excited to show you guys this project because this is the first time I'm working with LED lights. I was inspired by the YouTube channel called DIY Creators. I will leave a link in the description to their channel. However, I made a few changes of my own to this desk lamp. For instance, instead of an on off switch, I added a dimmer switch and dimensions are slightly different. I cut out a few chamfered edges so the light shines through better. Keep watching and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So firstly, I am making all the cuts to get the correct dimensions and get the pieces ready for sanding. Right now, you could see me sandwich two pieces together so when I make the cut, it becomes two identical pieces. Finally, with the pieces cut, now let's lay them out and get them ready for sanding. The two pieces you see at the top will be the main panel and the bottom piece that you see me sanding now will be the base. And just watch the magic of sanding. Check out the grain very impressed so before the stain goes on I need to cut out a inlay in the base so the top piece can slot in so before I prep the base I am chamfering the long edge this is so the light has a wider angle when projecting light Now to assemble the two large panels, I am using another smaller pallet and sizing it up so it sits in the middle and it's going to be glued together and sandwiched together. When placing the pieces together, it kept moving, so it was very difficult to keep them in position while the glue dried. So I've seen others apply salt onto the glue to stop it from moving. I thought my pieces were not going to move as much, but boy was I wrong. So at that point I thought it might be too late to get the salt out and start sprinkling salt everywhere. So I just decided to use other scrap pieces to act as like a jig as you can see and then just clamp them together because the surfaces were flat so then the idea is it stays identically clamped together on each side. Now with the glue dried let's take it off and now it's time to do the inlay on the base. So I marked out the small rectangular shape to be cut, just decided on the depth and then inside that marking I'm using just a wood drill bit to make circles and then going over with a chisel. This is the first time I'm actually using a hammer and a chisel on a project. 
I must say this was a very slow process and it takes patience but when the big bits started to come off and make the inlay it was very satisfying. Here I also went over with my router inside the inlay just to clean off any excess bits that have been missed. And finally the staining begins. I'm starting off with the base and as you can see I am going to first stain the edges and then lightly come inside to the middle so there's slightly a lighter shade in the middle but I don't know if the camera catches that very well. The piece that's going to attach to the base, I will leave that without staining just to give it a two-tone feature. The green is looking on point and to think this actually came from this palette, that is amazing. Now I'm just adding a bit of glue inside the slot and now you can see me placing the top piece onto the base and a few taps from the top but remember to use another plank and not directly hit the lamp with the hammer. Nothing too fancy here just a bit of varnish for a protective coat and a bit of shine. And now for the most exciting and nervous part of this whole project for me, the LED lights. As you can see I've made the gap exactly to fit the width of the 8mm LED strips and as I'm just pulling it I'm pressing with the other hand just to get the adhesion to stick and just using another the back end of the scissors just to kind of push it down you don't want to use screwdriver or anything metal in case it short circuits and then obviously just go all the way around and then you'll see me cut off the excess there you go so i cut off the excess where it's marked to cut off the excess and then just connected a led clip connector now it's just a straight 12 volt male to female connection to the dimmer switch and now let's switch on the plug and light it all up damn son i didn't know it was going to be this bright i don't know if the camera is catching it but when i was recording this it was pretty bright i will show you a couple of shots at the end with it being dark and on a desk So that's a wrap guys but not to worry more amazing projects coming soon so remember to subscribe to not miss any of them.